everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion, and this is the Noctua NH D14 SE 2011 D Type Premium CPU Cooler. And as the name implies, this is the LGA 2011 compatible version of the award winning Noctua NH D14 6 heat pipe dual radiator heatsink. And uh, the packaging is slightly different, the box cover, especially, uh, but the Features of the NHD14 uh, mostly remains the same, especially uh, uh, referring to the heat pipe, but the new updates not only include the 2011 mounting, LG 2011 mounting, you also get a new PWM versions of the uh, NFP12 and an NFP14 fans. And uh, you can already hear it inside, you can start opening the box so we can uh, take a closer look. Rather than reading it off the specifications in the box cover, here at the top, and the packaging is in several compartments. The first one here, you can already hear it. I just put that aside. That is, of course, the uh, mounting kit. And here, at the second compartment is the, uh, the top cover. Get the smaller box. Which contains the NHD14 heatsink itself, and to make sure that the box is empty, and uh, take a closer look on what the same contents of this box here, and uh, the top, and you can see the NHD14 pre-installed already with the fans. Here at the bottom, a preview of. The what the base looks like. Let's flip that over. Very organized packaging here. And as mentioned, these fans are the new PWM version, so they have four pins, four pin connectors there at the end. So let's put this aside and take a closer look at the new LG 2011 mounting kit. For those who are looking to uh, use an, uh, to buy the NHD14 and you have a LJ1366 or an AMD system, I would suggest the regular uh, SE2000, uh, rather the non-SE2011 version of your Nakua NHD14. So you can have the uh, other mounting kit because the, uh, the, the SE2011 version only comes with the LJ2011 mounting kit. And if you have the older version, of the Noctua NHD14, you can actually just uh, scan your receipt and uh, send it to Noctua and they will send you a free upgrade to the LG2011 mounting uh, kit that you see here. And uh, here's the packaging. The screws were too heavy for the packaging so it uh, was a broke, broke open. See there? Intel set. And here is the mounting kit comprised of the these locks and the these two mounting bars right here. You have the thumb screws and four bolts. So four bolts, four thumb screws, and the NMIMB2 mounting bars. Let's put that aside. You have the documentation. Quick step-by-step -step guide to install an LJ2011 system. And the common parts for the NHD14, you have so find the opening. This is the um, previous NHD14 version it came with the three pin fans. They have a, the low noise adapters, but these since these are PWM fans, you have much more control with the fan speed so they actually included here is a you have this four pin uh, you have the low noise adapter here you can see they're braided and uh, they're labeled 
and you also have these extension cables in case you have a full tower case you have another low noise adapter and this is a Y splitter cable so you can connect both fans into a single four pin fan header and here is a Noctua badge you can install in your case the screwdriver you can use and lastly you have the NTH1 thermal paste a whole chew of it now let's install the Noctua NHD14 into our LGA 2011 system and see how well it performs